Right, let's quickly go through everything that comes in the box. Obviously, you've got the main unit, which we'll see better when I put it together. You've got the extension for the bottom where all the accessories go on the head. Two handles, one being the control handle. You've got a, a mixing bottle for the fuel. This thing is the harness to carry it. You'll see this in action, but basically it goes over, goes over your head and this pad hangs on the side there because there is a fair bit of weight to the main unit, um, purely and simply because of the size of the motor more than anything else. The brush cutting blade, and it is this one here. Ear protectors, instruction manual, you've got glasses, you've also got, and this needs to be put together, but this is a, another protector for your eye, uh, mainly when you're doing the, the brush cutting more than anything else. You've got a tool kit. This thing is for getting rid of the moss on the floor, on the block paving. Again, you'll see that in use later as well. A little funnel, the strimmer head attachment, and the guard for the bottom of the unit. Also some heavy duty leather gloves, which always come in useful. These actually help with the uh, vibration of the unit when you're using it. Well, that's what I found on others anyway. So yeah, they're good. And some spur nylon cable for the strimmer. That's everything and we need to get this together, get it filled and get it working. Before we can get started, there is a bit of assembly required, but that's nice and simple, so let's do that. On the main shaft, we need to attach the control handle and also the handle on the other side, which balances it out when you're using it. And then we'll attach the lower part of the shaft to the main body as well. All right, so to attach the throttle handle and the balancing handle on the other side, you just need to loosen these four bolts and then pop these in so you've got the throttle let's push that in and they need to be equidistant so that's about there right and then just tighten the bolts and that's completed next stage to attach the the bottom section onto the main section take the protective rubber cap off and as you can see there's a hole there the purpose for that hole is there's a pin on the inside when you pull that, the pin comes out and we should just be able to, once we've loosened this off, we should just be able to pop that in, pull the pin back. Right, that's it. Now you can see that the pins drop back into place. There, so that's locking that in. And now if we just tighten this up and that isn't going anywhere. So that's fully assembled now. We just need to put the different heads on. And to attach the safety cover, again, nice and straightforward. You'll loosen this bolt here. That comes up there. That attaches with two supplied bolts and then this goes onto that bolt there. So let's do that. We'll tighten that in a moment. And there's no need to over tighten these. Well, that's done. Okay, so we're going to start off with the strimmer and on the head there's actually, uh, uh, because you're fitting up to three different attachments, there's different parts that you use on this. So let's just dismantle this first. Now, it's reverse threaded, so you screw it clockwise to unscrew it, which is unusual. There's the nut, that's a locking washer, that's washer B if I'm not mistaken, and that's washer A. So to fit this, what we're going to do first is use washer A. We're going to pop that on there. If you can see, there's a hole in that. There's also a hole in this and a hole there. And what that does is if you use something like an Allen key, that goes over there. To tighten it, it this, this will just spin. So it's going to be very difficult to tighten anything. So what you've got to do is push that through the hole, pop that over turn it so that the hole on this aligns with the hole on that and then just pop that in now when you this won't turn so what we can do we can get this pop it on start to turn it and in this in this we're turning it anti-clockwise to actually lock it 
or to thread it, I should say. So remember, I'm keeping the head, the shaft from turning with the Allen key through there. I'm going to turn that. Now it's tight and we're just going to tighten it up. And that's perfect. Now when I take that out, that's when it spins. The reason for the uh, reverse thread is obviously because this will spin probably clockwise or anti-clockwise, whichever way it spins anyway, it's probably going to spin clockwise. It'll keep this on without having to uh, use a bolt on this other side. Everything about the streamer head is heavy duty. It's made out of ABS plastic, so it's not going to uh, crack or anything like that. You can see that the, the metal where the streamer line comes out of, that's nice and heavy duty. It feels heavy duty and it's a good size. Plus you get the, uh, the free streamer line there. That comes attached, that's additional. What we are going to do, we're going to keep these because they will come in useful with other attachments. Before we fill it with fuel, I'm just going to tidy this up by using the supplied cable clips, the tie it and just, uh, just make sure that this is attached securely here. Okay, so that's done. All right, so we need to fill it with fuel now. So although you do get um, a mixing bottle, because it's two stroke, you've got to have oil, two stroke oil and petrol. But because I've got lots of these, I've already got some pre-mixed. And what we're going to do is just take the filling cap off, pop it to one side, get the fuel mix, and we'll just pour that in. And it has got quite a decent sized tank on it, this, which is always useful. Saves you having to keep refilling. Pop the lid on there. Pop the lid on there. And then it's just a case of starting it. As is always the case with these, there's a, a priming pump there. Because the fuel's just gone into it, you'll need to prime this. So if I turn it that way so that the fuel's actually connecting with the pipes inside and we press that rubber ball, now you can see that there's fuel in there. Because we haven't started this before, I'm going to turn the switch to on. I'm going to put the chalk up and then let's see first time because the chalk's on we need to move the chalk down now probably and that's it all done and dusted we'll turn it off right that's how easy it was to start right let's get some streaming done what we're going to do is I'm just going to stream quickly down the side there and on the top and then we'll do some brush cutting down there and maybe down the side there as well where there's quite a bit and then we'll get rid of some moss that's on some blocks. So there is quite a bit of weight to this uh, and that's where this harness comes in absolutely perfectly and all you do just pop it on just take a bit of adjustment to get it perfect but when you have clips together like so, this hangs on the side and all you do, there's a, a loop. You attach it like so, and then it just hangs. So all the weight's taken on your shoulders. You're not actually carrying anything. You can see that I'm just holding it. And that is how easy it is going to be to use. Okay, so we'll get it started now. I'll pop it onto the harness and we'll do the trimming. Switch on on the handle. Starts perfectly. Pop it onto the harness. Now, as you can see, that's weighted perfectly. Uh, I'm not, I may just go uh, adjust the harness after I've finished, I'm not too sure. Right, let's start streaming. Right, before I carry on, I'm just gonna get the face mask. Okay, so this is what came surprised with it. Uh, I feel a lot safer now. So let's finish the job.
perfect. So that did a, a really easy job of that. And as I say, it wasn't just normal grass that I was cutting through then. Uh, it's a little bit more than that because it's around the pond, but it worked perfectly. Right, let's move on and do something else. Right, let's put the brush cutter head on. Should be nice and easy. So we just need to remove the strimmer head and uh, put the brush cutter one on. So this is using some of the bits that we took off before. So remember, we need to use this to lock the head when we're screwing it off. Right, that's off, pop that down. And just refer to the instructions. So we need to use washer A, which is that one. So that one stays in that position. Just lock it again. Okay, so leave that there. And then we'll get the brush cutter blade, which is obviously supplied. So one brush cutter blade. And right, now there's no real uh, side to put this on. It, it's sharpened on both sides. So it doesn't matter which way you do it. But we're gonna pop that onto there like so. And then we get washer number two. That goes onto there like that. Then the cup washer, that goes onto there like that. And then we put the nut on. And again, it's got to go on anti-clockwise. Now this is a self-locking one. So I'm just going to make sure that the Allen key is holding it in place. We'll put the supplied wrench over the top and then just tighten it. That's it, that's tight enough. We're all in place and ready to go. All right, before we go down, uh, there's no need to fiddle around like I was doing earlier on. All you do, just lift that safety up, take that off, pop that on, and then that will stay on there. And all you do is, and then it just sits on, you put the safety through, and that's it, sorted. Right, let's go and do some brush cutting. I'm going to be using the brush cutter on here. Now, we're not quite far enough into the season to be doing any more than this yet. It's just these brambles that I'm going to be getting rid of. And there's uh, bits of trees further down. But we'll see how it operates anyway. So I'm just going to get it started and then we'll get going. Right, so let's get going. That's that, it's done a fantastic job of getting rid of that. Some really thick brambles there. Uh, but yeah, so the brush cutter works perfectly at cutting brush. And last, but by no means least, we're gonna use this bad boy now to get rid of some, uh, some heavy duty moss off the block paving. So we need to take this off. And again, to do that, we need to lock this so it's not going anywhere. Get this, now remember, it's clockwise to undo it and anti-clockwise to tighten it. So we'll take that off. Take the nut off. Take the cup washer off. Take washer B off. Remove that. Get this. Pop that on. It seats itself because there's a, a ridge there. So pop that on. Pop that on, put the cup washer on, anti-clockwise to tighten it. Nice and simple, very, very easily done. And that's how easy it is to change. Right, let's go and do that. Right, so as you can see, lots of moss, lots of moss here on the uh, block paving. This is what's gonna get rid of it. We'll start it up and uh, again, attach it on and we'll see how it goes. Switch it on. An immediate start. Just 
just come over and have a look at it. Right, so I'll just get this finished off, get it swept up and we'll have another look. Absolutely perfect. So that just took a couple of minutes. Just had to change the head over from the brush cutter, which I've changed over from the strimmer. Each one of those was so easy to do, but you can see how it's just brought all of the moss up that was on there. Uh, I could have spent more time just printing it up if I'd have wanted to, but it was a quick job, made even quicker by the head that I was using. Uh, and that's it. So we've been through the strimmer, we've been through the brush cutter, and we've been through the block paving cleaner or patio cleaner, whatever you want to call it. Really, really good, really effective, very quick. So I do love my petrol powered uh, garden tools. So there we've got a, a McCulloch strimmer. We've got a performance power pro strimmer. There's a battery strimmer there, which is great for just getting out and just doing little jobs. There's two Ryobis up there. Uh, and one of them has got the chainsaw extension on it for lopping down branches so you can see that i do use these things but i have to say this new one from buku is an absolute it's it's transforming it's so much more powerful than any of these that i've got at the moment you can just feel the power in it and the brush cutter so i use i've been using that brush cutter at the moment which is the performance pro one uh, it keeps stopping every time it hits something. It's not very powerful, but you saw the brush cutter, the, the uh, Bucco brush cutter, just whipping through that when it was doing it. So yeah, excellent. I've also been using this little Bucco chainsaw for uh, lopping down branches. Be better than the, the huge chainsaws that I've got because you can actually handle it with one hand if you need to do, but very portable, very easy to use. Excellent for lopping down branches. So time for the in summary part of the review. Well, in summary, fantastic bit of kit. So we've got 52cc of power, and as I've already shown the, the other tools that I've got, nothing as powerful as that. I think 48cc is about as powerful as I've got, but it, it just doesn't, it doesn't put out anything like this just for that little bit of extra power uh, or extra capacity. The heads are extremely easy to interchange. So I've put the streamer head back on. That's the brush cutter that worked perfectly and that's the one that brought the moss up off the block paving the the power that it gives out as i said earlier on the other brush cutter it just stops when it hits something substantial this just powered through it you saw it take some small trees down uh, or saplings whatever you want to call them so the power was superb you saw how easy it starts up now you don't normally get that or i don't get that on any of my other tools you get everything with it that you need so you get all the safety equipment, sometimes twice. In other words, you've got the, the head visor and you've got the goggles. Uh, you've got the gloves. You get a spur pl spark plug with it. You get all the tools that you'll need to, to work on it. Pretty much everything that comes in the kit. And for the price, which I think was about 130 something pounds, this Buku strimmer, bush, brush cutter and everything else that it does, is absolutely an excellent value. Um, there is a 10% off code. Uh, I got in touch with Booker and they've given me a 10% off code. So you'll find that underneath and that's if you go direct to their website and order it. Uh, things also available on Amazon as well. I'll put a link in for that. 111 decibels. Uh, it's not all that loud. Put the ear defenders on and you won't hear it. Put a pair of noise cancelling headphones on and listen to the radio while you're using it even better. Quite a large capacity fuel tank. Um, so again, you're not going to be filling that up. Just, I'll come back to just say how easy it was to start every time. You can't really start it when it's on you. That's the only thing. And once I'd figured out how to use this quick release mechanism to hang it on, uh, that all worked out fantastic. This, I wasn't too sure about it to start off with, um, but all the weight's carried on your body as opposed to in your arms. Now, and you'll know when you're using one of these things, you're using it for quite a while and it, it does get tiring on the arms. Well, not with this, so that's a winner as well. So yeah, all round perfection. Honestly, 
this bit of kit, it's not that I've been surprised by it, uh, it, it surpassed my expectations of it is all I can say. So, fantastic. And I'll, I'll look forward to using it more as everything grows.